The following clip is from the North to South Show, live every Monday and Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, where we talk SEC football everything. We'd love to have you out next show, but for now, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy this clip. So let's get into this. Let's break down this film. Let's watch this LSU spring game together. So I just took the main highlights from Max Johnson, got the main highlights from TJ Finley, and I got the main highlights from Miles Brennan, and we are just going to see how they performed here. And then at the end, I'm going to got to go break down each guy and who I think should be the starting quarterback for the LSU Tigers next season. So let's get into watching this film. That's Max, Max Johnson obviously going in with the first throw, just short little first pass to Butte. I'm pretty sure that is. There we go. Play action. Uh, that look, that looked like a sack. I don't know what the refs are doing there because in spring ball, of course, you don't get obviously Butte's going off and they throw the black flag for the back of the block in the back down the sideline. But oh, maybe not. I thought that he should have been sacked because in spring ball, you're not allowed to hit the quarterback, at least with most teams. I don't know how every single school does it, but I haven't seen a spring game yet where they don't not touch the quarterback. So I'm gonna go back there. I think he was good. Like, if you go back, I think he Johnson got the ball off just in time. We're going to watch that back one more time. Yeah, yeah, I think he just got it off. So that's a nice back foot throw by Max Johnson there. And, of course, it would have been a touchdown, but the block in the back off there to the left if you saw that there. So no touchdown, but still a really, really good job of improvising by Max Johnson so far. Obviously, he's a lefty. Throw down the middle. Yeah, pass interference there. There's no question on that. I don't know about that throw, though. That could have been risky. If, let's say, that guy trips or something, taking off, he's going to be down there. Okay, Max Johnson so far, not bad. See what he can do here. Red zone scenario. Play at, no, running. Okay, David Davis Price just takes the ball up the middle for two-yard gain. Here we go. Red zone at the 10. It's going to improvise, roll out. Uh, makes it to the six or seven. I think that's the right decision there. Obviously, taking the extra yards when you could have, he could have thrown it away, but taking the extra yards is never going to be a problem. See how he finishes this drive out. Try to hit the back shoulder with booty, but of course, just gets blocked in the end zone. Okay, here we go. TJ Finley going in for his first drive, first play. That's a pretty nice completion. Just you got a little post route down the middle. I'm actually really, really high on TJ Finley. Last season, a lot of guys didn't like him, obviously. That looked like P.I. to me, but uh, that might have been just a good defensive play. Got there at the same time. Let the kids play. Let the kids play. Just another rushing play. Breaks it in crease. That's going to get him past the 50. I'm Like I was saying, I'm high on TJ Finley. I think we got Brennan in now. Now Max Johnson back. Johnson's 14. You got TJ Finley at... 11 and then you're gonna have miles brennan wearing number 15 and i think five is Nusium. i think that's his name he threw a ton of picks in this game so i tried to shorten this up as best as possible just taking the best highlights yeah that's just a good throw to get it out of there i think he should have been tagged down like there's so it, it's hard for the defensive players to play like this we got tj finley back in now he's just been hitting his throws again i think tj finley is very mobile and he's just the nicest size that you could have at the quarterback position. Reminds me a lot of, like, a Cam Newton. And I'm a big Cam Newton fan, so I'm not complaining about that. But, of course, I'm pretty sure fans of, let's say, or LSU fans will want to see Miles Brennan because he had a great start to last season, or Max Johnson because he had a great end to the season last year because obviously Miles Brennan was hurt. Let's see TJ go deep. Yeah, that's picked. Bad throw. Just didn't see him there. Does he take it all the way? No. But yeah, that was just a forced throw. If we play that back a bit. See, so drops back. See, he's in front of him there. It's a bang bang play, but if you want to start at quarterback for LSU, you got to read that somehow. So I think so far, I don't even think we've seen Miles Brennan in here yet, but I think that here we go, we're going to get another angle. So far, Max Johnson has been the better quarterback here because he hasn't thrown a pick. Yeah, it just takes it down the field. Good read by that corner. 
Here we go. I'm pretty sure this is... No, still Max Johnson. When are we going to get Brennan in? You roll out, tag down. Like, that shouldn't be a throwaway. He's going to get sacked there in real football. Like, the defensive players can't do anything. Here we go. Here we go, Miles Brennan. Let's see how he does. First deep ball. Very nice catch by Boudet. But that was a pinpoint throw. Like, go back and watch that. Let's take that back. Just sits nicely in the pocket there. Waits for his guy to get downfield again. A little pump fake. Maybe could have got that out a bit sooner because he does let Stingley come back on that ball a bit and get close to the defender. But overall, great first start for Brennan on this drive. Yeah, it's just a bad throw. Again, throw it low. If you don't think that you're going to have the guy wide open, just throw it low. Gets tipped at the line there. Again, very interesting quarterback battle here. Nice out there. Again, Booty is going to be the number one wide receiver on this team. I think Eric Gilbert will also be a big target on this team if he does come back, which I made a video on that, which actually has done pretty well. So LSU fans, thank you for tuning into that. I really appreciate it. But let's see Brennan finish out this drive. Just finding those short throws. This is going to be a really big play because goal line defense or just five yards in or something like that is huge for a quarterback. Not every quarterback. Yes, you can play with 70 yards in front of you, but can you play when you only have 15-something yards of space to work with in front of you and make throws like that? Big question. Okay, first of all, he's down. I don't know why he dived into the end zone. There's no way in real football if it's not the spring game, and I think he knows that. He's smiling there. Bad exchange. I just think they missed up the exchange there. Okay, we still got Brennan in. There's a holding, so it's not even going to count. But yeah, just toss that away. No point of making a bad throw there. He's just hitting his little drag routes. Nothing wrong with that at all. By the way, guys, if this game does seem a bit slow, I had to put it in 90% speed because or 95% speed just because of copyright reasons and all that. Although it is under fair use. And that was a wobbler coming out. I just didn't see. Let's go back and watch that play again. That was just good coverage by number 25. Okay, we still got Brennan in another drive. Was not able to complete that red zone drive, so I think that is... Okay, he should be down there. Again, these refs... It's spring ball. Again, it's still early, but, like... Nice little check down there. Okay, he's going deep. First deep ball of the game. He's... What a catch. Like, see, that's on... I, let's go back to that throw because it was underthrown, but again, it was in a spot where only his guy, I think Boudet made an amazing play on that ball, but he threw it in a spot like you're, you see number two there. There's no chance that he catches that ball. Like His back is turned to the wide receiver, so great ball placement. Just taking advantage of what you get in front of you, and again, great catch. Amazing catch in the end zone there. And Brennan is loving it. Only a couple drives left. Yeah, let's watch this throw again. Just sees his guy. Let's it go. See, his back is turned. DB's back is turned. You can't. Got to get in phase there. You got to square those shoulders. I know I'm going into DB stuff right now, but I know it's hard. I can't talk because I can't do any of this stuff. I know I'm talking like I know everything about football, but still. What I'm trying to get out here, great throw by Brennan. Had his time, stepped up in the pocket, delivered a beautiful throw. Don't need to watch the extra point, but let's watch it anyways. Is that Cade York still? Is Cade York still at LSU? Here we go, TJ.
TJ's pre- pretty good at just those short little throws. I think his deep ball has some work to be done for sure. Looks like, are we going to get one here? Yeah, that was... A... See, that's a really risky throw. Great catch there, but you're throwing across the shoulder, and it just looked like his footing was really off there if you go back. Here we go. Slow it down for you. Yeah, see, he's just throwing off of one foot in the... Is just throwing across his shoulder. Hey, whatever works. If you make the play, also back shoulder. I think he hit the wrong shoulder there, but the guy still makes a great play. Just going for the first down. Defense stops him. This LSU defense, if I've seen anything in the spring game, it's actually been a lot better than what I saw last year. So I think LSU's defense is de definitely taking a step up. And then we got Max Johnson back in, throwing deep. As a I don't know what to think. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Touchdowns are touchdowns, but I want to go back. And I'm saying this every single play, but I really feel like with the – how are we supposed to call this? Where's the def Where's the defenders here? I got to see when he releases the ball. See, he can't tackle him. He's got an arm on him there. Does he really have the ability to step up there, take that one step, if that guy's going to put and actually try to wrap him up there? I don't know, so – Take this touchdown with an asterisk. Again, underthrown. The DB just has his back to the football, so he has no clue where the ball is. And wide receiver just goes towards the ball. Nothing you can do there. TJ again. Again, throws about 15 yards deep. He's missed a bit on. Here we go. Back at Max Johnson. Threw a touchdown in his last drive. I don't know what to say there because... Can't hit the quarterback. Here we go. Deep ball again. See, that is a good throw. That is a really, really nice throw there. Just puts it in a position. Leads him out perfectly. Has tons of room in the pocket. Just steps up. Find, finds his guy. No questions asked that that is a perfect pinpoint throw. Again, DB, number 31, had really good coverage on him there. Just Max Johnson was able to find him in the breadbasket. Johnson's got a nice arm. Like, he's got some accuracy to his throws, and he spins the ball really nice. See here, we still got Johnson's drive. Touchdown. I don't know. I'm really liking Max Johnson here. Really liking Max here. I mean, that was a wide open throw, but still, he hit him perfectly. It wasn't like the wide receiver had to make any adjustments or anything. Johnson's had a really good game. Let's see how TJ does here. Again, I'm pretty sure number three is Davis Price. Could be wrong on that. Got TJ in again. Let him throw it deep. I want to see him throw deep more. Here we go. Are we going to get something perfect? Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, bad throw. Is that Stingley? Yeah, Stingley just makes a really nice play. Best DB in the nation. Can't make any mistakes near Derek Stingley. He's going to pick it off. I mean, your double, almost triple coverage there. I think he underthrew him just a bit. No, he overthrew him. He overthrew him. That's my bad. From that last angle, I don't know why. Because Stingley ended up in front of him, but... Did he catch that? That looked to be wrong shoulder. It looked like he hit him on the wrong shoulder, but... Okay, here we go. Here's Miles. Just nice little under out. I mean, it's between Miles and Max this season. I know you can't make... I can't make this whole judgment off of who is going to be... The QB for LSU next season just because of the spring game. I think Miles is definitely going to be leading the charge and most likely going to be the quarter. Is that a pick or is that a... I can't remember who's playing defense. Okay, so Purple's offense here. Yeah, that's sacked 10 times out of 10. Just rolls out Max right. Johnson, Alec. How's it going, Alec? Alec says Max Johnson. Ooh, we got a lot of Johnsons. A lot of people. Jaden Harris also says Johnson. Everyone's saying Johnson over Brennan right now. That's regardless. I I think I'd have to agree with you guys. If we're talking about not... If we're talking about 
just what we saw from the spring game, I'd agree with you guys that Max Johnson did look better in the spring game. I mean, his deep throws were really, really nicely thrown, had great spin on his ball, was able to lead the wide receivers out. Brennan also had a really good game. He was accurate for the most part, just had a few throws that didn't have any too bad mistakes that cost an interception. But I think Max Johnson still just overall had the better day. I think he had the better day stat was. Again, I haven't checked the official stats on that. I just pulled up the highlights and showed you guys that. So Max Johnson definitely from a spring game perspective, I think played better. But going into next season, Johnson played amazing versus Florida in that one game. Obviously, the shoe game where Marco Wilson tosses the shoe. Max Johnson actually played a huge, huge, huge role into Florida, into LSU beating Florida in that game. It wasn't just because Marco Wilson threw a shoe and LSU got lucky. Miles Brennan, though, you look at the first couple games for him, that Mississippi State game, even though they lost that game, his yards and everything, his completion percentage was still really, really nice there. The Missouri game also really well, and the Vanderbilt game. I'm pretty sure those were his three games before he got hurt. I think it's tough for me to make a call. I think LSU is still going to stick with Brennan last season just because of the success he had early on in the season of SEC, but I'd definitely not be surprised if you see Max Johnson. It seems like a bunch of you people agree that Max Johnson, in that scenario alone, again, it's a spring game, can't hit the quarterback. You don't have to worry about that. Lots of little things that are different in the spring game, but... I think Max Johnson will definitely make this a competition. TJ Finley, on the other hand, I think got to get better on his deep ball. I still really like TJ Finley. Definitely one of my favorite players on this LSU team. But overall, Max Johnson, he's got a shot in this QB battle. I would not be surprised if you see Max Johnson starting at the end of the season. Now, I'd also not be surprised if you saw Miles Brennan starting at the end of the season because he is pretty much right now the starter. But I think Mac Johnson is going to put out a great battle this year. And if you get Eric Gilbert back, you got Booty, you got Davis Price, you got so many weapons on that LSU offense that LSU will be in business this year. I can guarantee you that LSU will not be an easy out like they were last year.